sound, ambience and music. That's what you guys and gals can expect in this video right here, which is on my top 10 favorite songs or music in video games that induces ambient sound and melodies to bring forth an atmosphere, an atmosphere which can create tension, despair or sometimes it can also create a sense of comfort within the viewers or gamers who are playing and experiencing said video games and these 10 soundtracks are the ones yours truly loves most including some honorable mentions which I will include by the end before my number one pick of this list right here. These 10 songs, music or soundtracks are my personal favorite and are among the best ones in video games if you ask me. But yeah guys and gals, let's waste no more time and get straight to it. My top 10 favorite music, soundtrack or songs in video games, shall we? At number 10 we have... House of the Witch. What can I say guys and gals? Ambience and of course a sense of eeriness is what you can expect from this soundtrack as we enter the mansion or home of the witch in Lost Odyssey. This game guys and gals is a truly underrated and yet fascinating and amazing video game yours truly loves so much from the Xbox. The Xbox is for life guys and gals and this game is so great and so awesome and the story is exciting exceptional, the characters are well written and well defined, and the soundtrack, including this piece right here, is so great and does indeed create a sense of eeriness, and that's why it ranks at number 10. At number 9 we have... Dragon Age 2. This theme, guys and gals, my god, what can I say about it? Aside from how damn good and awesome it is, this theme, guys and gals, can be played during a war or rather a city which is being massacred and the civilians are being tortured, raped, and so many other things you can expect in war and battles, inhumane things. In Dragon Age 2, the battle by the end between the mages and Templars, it goes nowhere guys and gals there's no winners and no losers but conflict and violence of violence without meaning there is violence with meaning but in this war none of it exists just fighting murder and countless bodies being piled up and all you can expect from is those who survive to experience PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder they are traumatized for life and their expression is like like this guys and gals. They are in shock and traumatized by what they are seeing, the carnage and war, whilst being covered in ash and blood in this battle which was unnecessary and should never have happened, but it did happen and that is the beauty of this theme and that's why it ranks at number 9. At number 8 we have...
the Earth, guys and gals. Roar of the Earth is what you can expect in this game, in the soundtrack, in the album, which is so great in Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus is my third favorite in the Team Eco games after Eco and The Last Guardian. But this game, guys and gals, is so damn great and brings out the survivor in you as you battle against 16 Colossi, which is the equivalent of David versus Goliath. Goliath, a giant of a man against David, his slingshot, and of course his belief and love in God to guide him and protect him as he battles against this giant of a man and defeats just like the Wanderer or Wander defeats the 16 Colossi all in the name of his beloved, his beloved Mono, and that's why it ranks at number 8. At number 7 we have... Yes, guys and gals, that's exactly what happens by the end of Eco, in which Eco, the horned boy himself, who has two horns, discovers that the shadow creatures are indeed his brethren, his brothers, who were sacrificed just as he was meant to be sacrificed at the beginning of Eco, the first game in the Team Eco trilogy. And Eco is forced to do battle with and vanquish them using the sword. And the entire time in this battle, the song or soundtrack, God damn guys and gals, I have no words for it and sorry for my use of language and using the Lord's name in vain but this sequence, this battle was so eerie and so intense and that's why it ranks at number 7. At number 6 we have Your pawn has reached the end of the board, Cain, and now my powers may even surpass yours. How ironic, if the creature that you made should prove your own undoing. Now we finish this, once and for all. Final battle and ending to the tale of Raziel in Legacy of Cain Defiance as these two go head to head with each other and this theme which is well known and associated with the Soul Reaver series within the Legacy of Cain franchise. This song guys and gals, this theme is very well associated with Soul Reaver and Raziel, the Soul Reaver himself, the complete form of the Soul Reaver and that theme is Orzar Midrashim. This theme, guys and gals, is so great and so epic as hell, and that's why it ranks at number 6. At number 5, we have...
alive inside, even in a world in which the dead have inhabited the world. And basically, people are the walking dead waiting and surviving until they die and come back as walkers or zombies, roamers, or whatever you want to call them. In this world, however, there are people like the Everett and Clementine, his beloved daughter, who are survivors struggling to maintain their humanities and trying to make a better life. Hence the theme right here, Alive Inside. I love this theme so much and that's why it ranks at number 5. At number 4 we have... Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. <sighs> Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Is everything alright? For Angela though, no, it's not. Angela, guys and gals, is one of the many characters in this game, Silent Hill 2, who are going through such pain and trauma, a past trauma which continues to haunt her until she finally ends it all. And this theme, guys and gals, sums up Silent Hill 2. What Silent Hill 2 represents, Silent Hill is not so much a demon or some kind of demonic force which brings people and tortures them psychologically logically rather it brings forth their deepest and darkest secrets demons and so many other things which they keep repressed within them silent hill 2 guys and gals for some provides them with comfort and security for some it's depressing but for others it's comforting and yours truly is somewhere in the middle promise reprise is so great and so emotionally resonating it is and that's why it ranks at number 4 at number 3 we have Fucker! You hurt? I don't think so. We have to find the others. How? I'm working on it. Call the guard. What? Call the guard. Do it. Hey! Over here! Hey! You guys shut the fuck up! Holy fuck, he's dead. That is what they teach you in the army. Where are we? I never should have made that jump alone. I promised Dad I'd take care of you two. Does it say where Riley is? We're gonna find him, we're gonna free the others, and then we're going home. <laughs> Stay with me, Grid! I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. And if this jungle doesn't eat you up for life, I will. <laughs> Fucking death! I said, get the fuck out of here, you chicken fuck! <laughs> Run, Forrest! <laughs> Run! Oh, shit, you're dead! Oh! 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 
shit, 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 shit. That's exactly what I expect the main character, Jason Brody, in Far Cry 3 to react as someone who's scared and someone who witnessed his older brother, a military veteran, kill someone to protect him and try to save others, their friends. And Jason Brody is but a kid, a college kid who witnesses murder and so many other things, inhumane shit. All of it, guys and gals, changes him, the white boy, as they call him, even though I myself am white. But yeah, guys and gals, Jason Brody is my man, and Jason Brody does what he can as a survivor who kills in order to protect those closest to him. In doing so, he does lose a part of his humanity, if not all of it. Hence the theme right here, I'm sorry. This theme, guys and gals, is so great and fits the character of Jason Brody, and why it ranks at number three. At number two, we have... Discovery. Discovery, guys and gals, and leaving the one you love, and flowing like the wind, without a sense of direction, wandering and wandering, which is exactly what the ronin or samurai had done in Amahara when he came across Kasumi of the auto gang, helped her out, and left her, even though there was a potential for the two of them to love each other, develop their bond and relationship as man and wife, woman and husband, and so forth, but Sadly, the Ronin has his journey, even though it does hurt him, to leave her, Kasumi, and proceed with his journey. His life is not in Amahara, it's not with Kasumi of the Auto Gang. So where, guys and gals, when exactly will the samurai find his happiness? This samurai keeps on wandering and wandering and flowing like the wind. It's sad, but he will be okay, just as Kasumi will sure as hell be okay. Both of them will. Discovery is so great and so emotionally resonating and so awe-inspiring and that's why it ranks at number two <laughs> until you Natco is free of you and the crooked bureaucrats who perverted its mission. Yeah guys and gals, JC Denton, you Natco theme. I thought I would share that with you guys and gals before getting to the other honorable mentions of, you know, this list right here. You Natco theme is one I love so much because there's so much, you know, ambience and so much coolness about it. It's so cool and so fucking epic without being, you know, out there or something, you know, bomb bombastic or whatever. Something that you know is so simple and yet so effective in the best way possible. And yeah guys and gals, I love this theme and I love JC Denton's determination to do what he has to in you Natko's name. JC Denton is not fighting for himself but he's fighting for the people of his city and the city which is supposed to be protected and watched over by you Natko. But this company is being run down to the fucking ground by those who are supposedly in charge, who JC Denton is trying to expose and get rid of. And now, guys and gals, time for the honorable mentions, so do enjoy them and wait until you get to my number one pick of this list right here, but do enjoy.
Guys and gals, at number one we have is a man who cannot be stopped and a man who cannot be reasoned with which is exactly the case with Corvo Atano, Sir Corvo Atano, the masked assassin Corvo Atano guys and gals the assassin himself is bulletproof when he lets go of his limitations and embraces his primal instincts as a man, a killer, an unstoppable force and does what he has to to save Emily Coldwin the empress to be after her beloved mother Jezebel mean cold wind this theme guys and gals the drunken whaler with the children in the background singing this song or this melody was so fucking epic and so great as well as adrenaline inducing and for so many reasons it's deserving to be at the number one spot of my top 10 list of favorite songs music or soundtracks in video games hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish and do check out my other channel where I talk
talk about movies, television programs, and anime series, etc. Until next time, peace out, take care, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara. <laughs>